What's up, everybody? What's popping? It's your boy P. Piara, man. PR links. And um, is this gameplay right here, man? This is my best gameplay for this weekend. This past weekend for the beta, man. And uh, I went in. Now, this video right here, I'm gonna be talking about giving you guys some ideas of what I feel that it can that that, that infinite Infinity War can actually do to make the gaming experience a lot better. A lot of these ideas, most likely, they're not gonna do. It's okay, it's their game. But this is ideas that I know that can be done because they have been done before in other games. Now, we're gonna go to the meat and potatoes, sniping rifles, sniping gameplay. The sniping gameplay is overpowered, it's OP as hell. So, my objection, my, my, my suggestion on how to get this fixed. First of all, make the heat box, okay, the heat box, make it a lot smaller, okay, so that you cannot really draw scope to either side, make it very small. Second of all, make the one one kill, the one shot kill range, shotgun range. Okay? So that way it will take two kills, long range to mid range to kill anybody. Third, take away aim assist on sniping rifles. Take away the grip and take away the quid, the quid draw. If you do these things, okay, you will greatly improve the snapping gameplay in here, where it will even out when you can actually have a shot, okay? Other thing I want to talk about is the maps. So far, the maps that we have played in are too cluttered. This is something that Infinity War is known for having cluttered maps. My suggestion is you eliminate, especially in, in the city maps. This map right here, I don't have no problem with this map. This map is, is pretty good. It's chaotic though, from time, from time to time. But for the most part, it plays pretty good. I know a lot of people might disagree with me, but this is one of the only maps that is three lane maps, just like the maps you see in Black Ops 3. You like those maps, I don't get why you don't like this map, but it's okay. The maps, the city maps, you could eliminate some of the buildings, you could make buildings a little bit smaller. Oh! Piara, that cannot be done. The game is already over with. It's in beta. Bullshit. If you remember back on Modern Warfare 2, okay, Infabella, the game was already like, I think it was like seven months old already. People were playing it. But Infabella, I remember this clearly. Infabella, in one of the buildings, there was a picture of Mohammed hanging on the wall on one of the bathrooms. The Muslim community got array to the point where Infinity uh, Activision pulled out Favela, okay, that map Favela, pull it out of the game just so they can eliminate the freaking picture of Mohammed of the bathroom. And the game was already been played for like seven months already so i know okay that you can fix the buildings okay you can make them smaller you can you can eliminate some of the buildings okay the score streaks are too weak you spend too much effort 
and trying to get these high score streaks and they get they're not powerful enough. They 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 shut down time is fine. Okay. Were you able to shut down, you know, take down the the score streak? I don't got no problem with that. My problem is that you you work too hard and you don't get rewarded properly. Okay? They need to buff the score streaks. The guns, you leave the guns alone. With a session of what I told you before at the beginning of the video with the sniping rifle. The rest of the guns do nothing to the guns. We haven't, we haven't played with the guns with variants on the guns yet. When you add certain variants to these guns, they make the guns a lot more powerful. Okay. Until we unlock the variants for each of these weapons, then we can assess the true potential of the weapons. Right now, leave the freaking weapons alone. I don't want to hear no nerfing, buffing, nothing like that with any of the rifles. Leave the rifles alone. The specialists, only the first two specialists at the only specialists that are actually good, which is the FTL, not the first two, the FTL and the robot thing that turns into a freaking dog. You need to buff the rest of the specialists. You could leave those alone. Don't nerf them. They're fine. It's the other specialists that need to be buffed so that they can cash up to the ones that are already good. Okay. Another thing that I find in this game that can be fixed is actually Marsmen. I think Marsmen should be pretty much equal across the board. Okay. One important thing before I forget, you need to make the footsteps a bit louder in this game. You cannot hear the footsteps. To be able to hear footsteps is essential to play in Call of Duty. Okay? You need to make the footsteps a lot louder. Anyway, thank you for watching my streams this weekend. All the support that I've been getting is great. I appreciate that, guys. And I'll be seeing you guys next weekend, man. Peace. Adios. Yo, is it finished or is it done? Later.